Hey everybody, welcome to Oklahoma. Hope you can hear me in all this wind. I'm going to show you a little bit about this Sunflower Air Cedar. Right now we're going to calibrate. And we got this bin number two, full of green map fertilizer. And we have the hydraulics on, but the fan shut off. So to start it, we're going to punch number two. Here we have that green map. Load into our bag. Get weight. Let her go for a little bit there. Show you, we have a gauge over here you can open or close. How much you want to flow out to give you some adjustment. got her bag pulled off and we got it on our little scale there and the total weight right now is 17 pounds 14 ounces now I've weighed the bag before and the bag alone weighs 11 ounces so we'll take 11 ounces off that and we'll plug that up in the computer okay we're up in the cab now and we got our weight uh, I've done a little calculation because we only want pounds in decimal. We don't want any ounces. So we figured up subtracting the 11 ounces for the bag, we end up with 0.1875 left over. So we'll have a total of 17.1875 pounds. So we'll go in and we'll punch her up here come up touch screen a little touchy or not so touchy so we got 17.1875 pounds check that off so then that does all the calculations and right here it'll tell us our minimum speed will be 2.5 miles per hour and our max speed 25.6 that we can go we had to stay within that range and the computer will speed up and slow down that hydraulic motor to put out the correct amount of seed depending on how fast we want to travel through the field now up here on top we'll give you the uh, percentage of product in the tank some of these sunflowers can be set up with load cells and it'll calculate and tell you everything up there just off those load cells this screen right here tank number two is what we just did We're putting down 50 pounds of map tank number one was milo seed I've already calculated it up it took a few tries because we're only putting on 2.5 pounds per acre on that Milo seed sorghum. So I had to do a little trial and error there, getting her pinched down quite a ways. <clears throat> I see our alarm there is actually a sensor in the bin that'll show you how much product is left once you get down to a certain height at all alarm and say it's getting low. Uh, we don't have very much product in that bin number one, so it's already below that sensor. We're only putting on 2.5 pounds per acre, so that's not very much. And you can turn bins one and two off and on. You're just punching those. If you only want to do one at a time, depending on what you have. Seed will start. 
check that green. We'll zero out our acres here. Just punching those on each bin. Those were the acres from the wheat. And this little sensor over there is a height switch up and down. It'll shut the fan off or quit feeding the seed whenever you get to the end row and turn around and raise it up. It'll shut that seed off and quit flowing. That's about it for that. Next up we're going to set the depth and show you a little bit about that and get rolling pretty soon. Okay, we're going to change the row spacing here. Last thing we seeded was winter wheat and this is actually set up on six and nine inch Start out with our guidance system here, John Deere. 
it's an iPad that is hooked up over Wi-Fi to our blockage sensors and our seat tubes. So that'll tell me if a tube gets blocked and isn't put down any seed or fertilizer, it'll alarm and show up. Now you see half of those are in red. That's because we have some of those tubes blocked off to be on the different row spacings. And over here, let's back to our monitor. As you can see from before, we're putting on two and a half pounds of sorghum, putting on 50 pounds of fertilizer, 11520 green map. You can see it's got uh, some acres or speed sensor on the cards that will control the hydraulic motors to put out the seat. Our fan sensor over there is uh, broken off. I have a new sensor, but we need to put that on. It'll run without. We just don't know the actual RPMs of the fan. So we just make sure we aren't clogging up any tubes. We know their seat flowing, so we know that fan's running good. We're about to get to the end row here. So we're going to slow down a little bit. Get to the end, click her up, make a turn. Get to the end, we 
pick that up with the number three. First time doing this one handed with the phone trying to record. Not perfect. Kick that back down in number three. Thank you. 